Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Um, I'm just going to show how to work with survey responses in NVivo 12 on the Mac. Now, the first thing that you may want to do to separate your sources is to create a folder, which I have created here called Online Surveys. And also in anticipation for the open-ended question that people will give in the survey, I've also created another folder here under the notes called the auto-coded survey responses. So the first thing that we're going to do is to bring the survey on board. This particular survey was done in SurveyMonkey, but uh, behind every online survey databases, this is the back end. You get that information in an Excel or CVS file, so whichever one that you want. So for this particular example, I have got the information in an Excel format, nice and easy to use. So we're going to bring an Excel uh, sheet. So in this list view here, you right mouse click, making sure that you've selected the folder that you want to actually import the survey in. So you will right mouse click and then you go for import. But as I have said, this is a data set, it's a survey data set. So you come down to the data set option. And there you are taken into your own computer. So on my computer, I've got the survey responses in an Excel format waiting for me. So you click on it and then you click on the open. So the information is now given you as a preview and we have a very interesting assistant or a wizard that is going to take us through four points to bring the information on board. You notice here that the from the preview you could see that this survey had its own unique ID generated but Excel also will provide you with row ID and so when we come to select my choice I will choose a respondent. So yeah this is fine everything is great that's a preview, not a whole lot. So you go with the nest icon um, tab. So from the nest, we are now on the three or four steps to get to the end. So the very first um, question that we get, we, we get to ask here is the field option. By default, the software reckon that maybe you're going to need to use the row ID, but if you don't want it, you can select the one that you want to have as your row ID or the unique ID. So I have selected the respondent one and then I'm okay to click on the next and move on. So the information that we've got finally suggests that, well, you know, when I bring the data in, I would name it as a survey responses. And I think that is fine. There is no need for descriptor. Just click on import it. So we then sit back and in a flash, the survey data is here. You notice that we have a lot and a lot. It's only 104, you know, kind of, um, cases or people who completed it. So it's a lot and it's not a lot. Now we are also looking at some of the information here as tick boxes. So they are all in gray. The bit of the information that we are so interested in and that's the reason why we brought this survey into NVivo is the content analysis is the open-ended opinion questions that we ask. So that is the bit that excites us and they are all here. And so we're quite happy for this. Now, remember we are working on the Mac. If you want to close anything, you come down to the very bottom of the navigation view here, the first column, and then you can hover and click on 
the cross sign to close that survey sheet now that we brought the survey sheet remember we have 104 individual respondents so we want to tell the software that we have 104 individual respondents and then we want to track down what every person said and who that person is also with some of the attributes characteristics in that table that we saw before so this is not automated but we have to just help the software to help us do it so we are going to now right mouse click on the survey and then tell the software to auto code the survey for us so we have the 104 people recognized and also what they said um so we can go ahead with the auto code and so you click on the data set so the window which we've got has got two choices here we can do either of them to begin with the first radio button here suggests that maybe you may want to pick up the open-ended question and then store them somewhere so in preparation for the storage i have created an auto-coded survey responses folder here to receive it so we can go ahead and go for the um, the gathering of all the 104 respondents what they had to say about the questions which is five of them so click on the next and here are the five questions and we want to select all of them so they are just in the right place and we can then go on to the next screen so on this next screen the software wants to know when I take the um, the open-ended question I intend to kind of um, store this as a new node which is fine because that's the language and where do you want me to remember I have created a separate folder so it's not going to be on the nodes where I want and the reason I am doing this is because I want to put this separate away from the open um, ended or the marketplace for the code in which is the emergent area. So I just want to keep this one separate. And therefore, by clicking on this arrow here, I get to see the structure under the nodes area. Now I can see the autocoded and then click on select. So this is where I would like to store the out um, um, the responses to the questions. And so I'm ready to go ahead and then let the software do that uh, gathering for me, which is the auto code. So it has done it. And we can see when we open the auto code folder, you would notice that the arrow be, um, and next to the survey will tell me that we've got five questions and look 104 respondents and of course I've just done it now so they are all there intact and of course if you wanted to open one of them for instance I'll just give you the pleasure of doing that you will get all the 104 some people say good in trouble I mean it's an online survey so obviously you don't expect people to write a lot and a lot of essay but they've given you information and you can then work with it okay so I'll close this bit and we will have to go ahead and also consider who they are now we know what they're saying but who are they and that we are going to address the cases we want the software to bring them into the case book here and also the characteristics or the attributes would also come into the case classification so let's go off into the file screen which is the online survey that's where we start this is our data set so you right mouse click on it and then you come back again into the auto code remember when we did the auto code we had two radio buttons and we considered doing the first one now we come back to do the second one so it is from the second one that we know who is who and the demographics about the person who responded to the questionnaire so we click on next and it says here choose the column that contains the unique case name 
And of course, I did say that is the respondent. That is the one that I'm chosen. I'm choosing. So we have the survey less and of course dot 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 means that we cannot show you everything because this is just a preview. And so you accept it and you go with the next. And it says well, once I know who they are, I would then connect it to the five questions that previously you auto-coded and that is perfect. Click on the next. And so the next thing, which is almost wrapping up because we are on the fourth um, step of the four step. So we are going to allow the information to be kept in a folder in the cases, but it will create a separate folder called survey respondents. So that is perfect. And this is the case book that we are talking about here. So there will be a folder called survey responses and that would then host the 104 individuals which is the d something all the way to the very end now secondly on the, on the date data set also people did uh, give us the agenda the age where they live and all those kind of classifying information which is the attributes so we want to also accept that and that would then create another folder for the classification. This classification will have a folder called the survey responses that would then show us all the respondent, the, the, all the bits of information which um, are in the table. So we are almost there. Let's click on auto code and it, the job is done. Okay, so the job is done. Well done. Let's take a look at what we've achieved so far. We brought in a survey um, file and then we asked a software to pull from the survey all the, um, all the open ended question, which we are going to read and code them further or analyze them, whichever way we choose. But we also now have the individual respondent and the identification. And so we have all of them. And of course, they answered all the five questions. And that is why this column references mean that they have five questions. Some of them didn't answer all five, but that is wonderful. It's OK. Naturally, that's what you expect. Now we go into the case classification here. And this is the table that will show us who is who and also the assignment. So we get two tabs, the automatic, the first one is the attribute, which means these are the demographic data that we ask them. And if we then open the classification sheet, which is the next tab here, it would then show us this person with the ID DE00 is from a community called Straight, just ignore this one, and the education level, and then on and on and on of information. I could have actually deleted some of the files that we don't want to see, but it doesn't matter at this stage. So that is a big table. And so congratulations, we have now gone through how to bring a survey data from an Excel file into NVivo for Mac version 12. Thank you so very much for watching this. If you have any question, please don't forget to drop me an email or connect with me and I will do more videos for you.